Hi, my name is Charlotte. This holiday, I am working as an intern in the news department of a TV station. Not only do I learn how to produce a TV program, I also face another important challenge of producing a newspaper. Strictly speaking, it's not the normal newspaper we read, but an online newspaper. Everybody in the meeting room in 10 seconds. Let me start by sharing some shocking news. Last month's viewing report shows that there's a consistent drop in the viewing rates of our news program. Market research has shown that our audience prefers the internet to read the news rather than watching our TV news program. To make up for the loss of our shrinking audience, the management has decided to launch an online newspaper that covers news reports, feature articles, and offers editorials that give our opinions on social issues. I need you all to work on this news page and write me three to four interesting news reports. I need an editorial from the editor as well. Remember, a news report is a factual account on any news or event, without any bias or prejudice. An editorial should be our opinion on a current issue. Now, I need everything by the end of this week. Any questions? How should I start writing a news report? Charlotte? We've decided to write about topic marine conservation for our new online newspaper. I need you to go with me to cover a demonstration that takes place in an hour. Do you mean now? Yes, of course I mean now. We are reporters, aren't we? Yes, sir. Well, you can't just go like that. Where's your camera? And your notepad. Sure, I'll be there right away. I've got another important interview to get to. I want you to interview the demonstrators and research the demonstration thoroughly. And I'll be back as soon as I can. Yes, yes, but how should I start the interview? Have you forgotten the WH words that you learnt on your first day of work? Oh, indeed. The WH words. Right. Well, I'll see you later. Good luck. Would you mind answering a few questions? What is the purpose of your demonstration? We'd like to draw the public's attention to the loss of sharks over the past few years due to shark fin soups, medicine, and other related products. Which organization are you from? Our group is called HK Shark Foundation. What is the aim of your group? We aim to educate the public about the damage the consumers are doing to the ocean. We are also petitioning the government to ban the trade of shark fins. Why do you think there's a need to protect the sharks? Sharks are the predators in the ocean. Without them, the food chain in the ocean becomes unbalanced. Shark deaths have increased dramatically and has caused severe consequences to the ecosystem. Do you know how many sharks are killed every year? Maybe 10,000? No way! Approximately 100 million sharks are killed every year. What? That's unbelievable! That's why we have to do something to save them. If we don't, they'll become extinct one day, and our future generations will not have the chance to see these beautiful creatures in the sea. I feel so sorry for them. Then why don't you join us?
shut. How can you take part in the demonstration? Don't you know that a reporter must remain objective and keep a distance from the incident? I'm really sorry for what I've done. Your job is to write a news report, which is a factual account of the events and not your participation or opinion in it. I'm really sorry. I will never make such a mistake again. Okay, well learn from it and write me a news report of the demonstration. Here's a template of a news mm -hmm. report. Follow it closely and make no more mistakes. Thank you, I'll certainly do that. Having made such an embarrassing mistake, I can't afford to make another. I need to follow the template closely. To write a news report, use an inverted pyramid structure with the least important details coming last. Start with an attractive headline that sums up the whole article. The first thing I've got to do is to think of an eye-catching headline. Group demonstrates to save sharks. Hope that this is attractive enough. What's next on the template? Give the most important information in the introductory paragraph. Use short paragraphs, past tense, and keep the words simple. An environmental group, HK Shark Foundation, took to the street yesterday in Central to call for a ban of the trade of shark fins and to raise public awareness on the protection of sharks. The body. Provide factual details including quotes from people related. The group claimed that high consumption of shark fin soups was a major reason leading to the death of sharks. Approximately 100 million of sharks are killed every year worldwide due to the trade of shark fins, said Ms. Yoon Kitty, the spokesperson of the group. How should I finish my news report? Include the least important information. About 30 people took part in the demonstration, which lasted for 30 minutes. Good work, Charlotte. Your report looks professional in terms of style and structure. And the tone is objective without any of your personal involvement. Thank you. I'll always remember that. I want you to help with the writing of the editorial. What's an editorial? It's the editor's voice or opinion on a certain issue in the newspaper. We'll be looking at marine conservation in our first issue. Can you help with the research and write me a report by tomorrow? It's my pleasure to help. I'm doing some research on the problem of shark finning in Hong Kong and I was just wondering if I could ask you some questions. How serious is the problem of shark finning in Hong Kong? It's a very serious problem. Um, Hong Kong now consumes 52% of global trade. Now 90% of all sharks have been wiped out. How does shark finning affect other sea creatures and the world we live in? Uh, it affects them greatly. Sharks essentially are an apex predator. So they sit at the top of the food chain. What, what this basically means is they're, it's like a policeman of the oceans. They ensure that populations of other fish species and marine species stay in check and don't overpopulate. All right, thank you very much. Sure, right. you're welcome.
Hi, you must be Charlotte, right? Yep, I'm Charlotte. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How serious is the problem of shark fishing globally? The most updated research in the world talking about the well, shark catching or shark fishing is talking about like each year we catch about 100 million of sharks per year and then for fin or for meat or for other like related products to trade. They're both against shark fin consumption as it affects marine conservation. Thanks Charlotte. Uh, for your thorough research, it's included all the viewpoints of the different parties concerned. Um, I'll consider these and uh, we'll use them in my editorial. Do you also have some videos or photos to go online? Sure, let me show you. It's such a pleasant surprise to get a thank you note from your boss. And what's gratifying is that your boss is using your research in his editorial. What can we learn about the structure of the editorial here? The shark fin controversy. We start the editorial by stating the issue and providing an objective explanation of the background. In the body of the editorial, the editor states his view by presenting the opposition's view, followed by direct refutations, and supports the case with facts and details. The editor then offers a solution to the problem and concludes by emphasizing the main issue and by appealing to the readers. Thanks everybody for all your hard work and your efforts in helping to start up this online newspaper. The management is very pleased with our work and promises to give us more resources on this new project. You all deserve a big round of applause. Oh my, one of our readers left a comment on my news report. What does it say? A pleasure to read. Absolutely agree that we should stop eating shark fin soup. Wow, that's very encouraging. <laughs> My internship is nearly coming to an end. It's been so satisfying to work with such enthusiastic and professional group of people. I'm getting more and more confident with my writing. After all, writing different types of text is not so difficult. <laughs>